Father, we thank you. Our Lord and our God, we give you all the praise. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our voice in worship. In worship of your name. You are good. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Father, we thank you. Do you know of our lives? We are grateful. Thank you very much for what you have been doing for us as individuals, as a family, as a nation. And the nations of the world will say thank you. Father, we bring up our nation before you this afternoon. We are at a crossroad. We thank you for your divine intervention. You who have been interfering and intervening in the time past. We thank you because you do bigger and better for us this time around in the name of Jesus. We declare that Nigeria will not go under. We declare that we will not go to war. We declare that lives and properties will not be lost. In the name of Jesus, every life is precious. We ask that you preserve every life in the name of Jesus. Show us the way forward and help us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that which you have done, will do, and will continue to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, thank you for coordination. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You are welcome to this very special session. Like you notice since our independence anniversary, we have been holding special sessions in honor of our beloved country, Nigeria. Looking at the state of the nation address of our president and the way forward. This is Church on the Air. Jordan 93.9 FM My voice and your voice The voice of the people And the very very special voice of God This afternoon We've come to bring God's gentle reminder To every one of us That the weapons of our warfare Are not carnal Our topic is The weapons of our warfare are not carnal my name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake. Thank you very much for being there, for listening. And thank you for interceding and standing in the gap on behalf of our most precious country, Nigeria. We don't have another home. We don't have another country. Anywhere else, you are a second-class citizen. If you notice in America, there has been a lot of problems. Why? They are Americans, but... It is still not the same. So we have nowhere else to turn to than this beloved country of ours. So you and I must do all we can to preserve it. To preserve the unity therein. So this afternoon, this is a gentle reminder for us to say that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty to God through the pulling down of strongholds. We'll look at that angle scriptures. What is warfare? When you say a warfare, you say that there is an ongoing war. In our country today, you look at the pictures, the scenarios. God will not allow us to go to war in the name of Jesus Christ. But we must be very, very careful. We have a right to protest, yes. But let's not forget that hooligans, armed robbers, those who don't want good for this country are out there waiting to hijack it. Warfare means an armed struggle, arms, battle. It means blow, a changing blow. It means campaigning. It means a clash. It means a competition, a, con a contest, a discord. 
It means fighting. It means hostilities. It means a military host operation. It means arms dealing, rivalry. It means strive, a striving, a struggle, a tug of war. Everything that makes for bloodshed, unrest, lack of peace is what the war, warfare means. And right now our country is at that point. God is bringing a, a gentle reminder to us that we must not take law into our hands. That the battle is not our own but his own. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but his smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt, nor a fear, not a sigh, nor a, a tear, can abide while we trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but a tall head doth richly repay. Not a grave nor a loss, not a frown nor a cross, but is blessed if we trust and obey. But we never can prove that the lies of his love until all on the altar we lay for the favor he shows. And the joy he bestows are for them who will trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. God wants us to trust him completely. The battle is law is of the Lord and not ours. Like I've said, I'm not against protests. It is your civic right. If you see something you don't like, you have a right to protest. But generally, it is not advisable. Why? Because the evil people, like I've said, are there waiting to hijack it. You see what happened yesterday in one of the western states when the governors went to identify with them. They left their cards all being battered. Watch your television, what you see, properties all being looted, being scattered. In Lagos, the same thing. If we continue like this, we are going to use our hands to turn our country upside down. Let's not go that way. Libya for 40 years. Growing up, Mama Gaddafi was one of my best national heroes. Why? Because his green book, after he took over the revolution, he formed a nation that he called in Arabic, the masses, a nation for the masses. And he did his best to take care of the masses. In Libya, it is said that once you're of age, a house is waiting for you. Everything is waiting for you. He tried. He combated the damn world. He stopped their oil productions and he was the first person that leveled and made um, the oil price to rise up. He said, no, you can't take our oil like that. He fought. And for 40 years, he was able to ward off the foreign allies that were interested in their oil. 
but the people gave it to the NATO forces. When the Arab Spring protests like this started, Tunisia fell, Egypt fell, they started in Libya. And when he replied with a high-handedness, the NATO forces who were already waiting because it was already a turn in the flesh, they had tried several times, they came in, bombarded. Today you know the Libya we are talking about, post-Libya as at now, is scattered and battered. Violence everywhere. Several prime ministers have come and gone. Militias are, militia groups are taking over, have taken over. Every, anyone, any area you can control, you are the, you are the president there. We must not go that way. We must not give in. This is the part we are going, we must not go that way. Let's know when the devil wants to take over and let's know when God is taking over. We've said that when we pray, God will hear us. Let's withdraw. In warfare, when you are fighting, growing up, I liked most of Bob Marley's song. There's this one that I like. He said, when you fight and run away, <laughs> he who fights and run away lives to fight another day. The protest is enough. Let's withdraw. Let's withdraw so that there's no more bloodshed and we don't give the enemy what they are looking for in a platter of gold. What the NATO forces could not achieve in 40 years with Libya under one year, few months they were able to do it. They just help them send bombs, scatter everything. Today it is scattered. And we all know the death toll from Libya alone. That's a gateway now to Europe. And we know how many lives have been lost. Our children going that way, looking for greener pastures abroad. Under Gaddafi, there was nothing like that. Nobody even knew anything like that, that there was a gateway to Europe. Lives have been lost. Let's not go that way. This is not the way. Let's go back. Let's withdraw. When you pray in your closet, some years back in our nation, there was a strong man that said, ah, he's only the one, the cap, the cap feet. One particular tribe that liked to travel every year, we, before a year, they must travel every year. For eight years, nobody could travel. But there was prayer. There was crying. There was groaning. That is what we ought to be doing now. And there's nothing God cannot do. I remember that time I used to follow my mother to Ike Jarakeji, Baba, Baba Lola camp of Christ Apostolic Church. Come and see women praying. Everywhere people praying, crying. Because you can't do anything. We didn't even know what was security agents that time. It is during that time we know that there's something called, uh, is it NS or what were they calling it then? You talk, you disappear. So nobody was talking, nobody came out. But what guns, weapons, protests couldn't do, God did it for us. And the other person that was, okay, it is my mandate, they stole my mandate. God also took care of that side. We are at peace today because of that cry. And we are still at peace because of the cry that has been going on. Another time again, the protest started. Our then leader said, no, I step aside. We are forever grateful to him. He stepped aside. We have our peace. We all know he's still a kingmaker. The last one is our president. 2015, everybody was sure. The international community were sure that this is the end for Nigeria. But just one word. He had the machinery of government. He could have said, no, I don't agree. I don't this. Roll out the drum. Roll out the soldier. Roll out this. Roll out that. And there would have been blood everywhere. We won't be here to be talking what we are talking. We are going that path again and let us withdraw. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That means it is not in protest, it is not in carrying placard, it is not in song, it is not in this. All those have their place. place. But in a kind of setting where there are people willing, waiting to hijack it and to destroy, we must not go that way for the sake of our children, for the sake of our nation, for the sake of tomorrow. Our founding fathers that have fought to bring us this far I read Second Corinthians 10 because this is church it's church we are talking about I'm not talking politics I'm talking what God's mind what does God want for us the way forward the way forward for 
said, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We have strongholds in our nation. All the things they are talking about, they are very true. The impartiality, nepotism, men, togri, bribery, killings, unfair waste. So many things, you know them already. There are strongholds afflicting our nation. But in the place of prayer and dialogue. Don't forget our president just brought his state of the nation address. And in that state of the nation address, in number one, he acknowledged that the citizens gave him the power. Number two, point two, he said he re, he made, reenacted his commitment to serve. Three, he said, but we need to look at issues so that together we can continue. It's less than a month now. We can't say he's not sincere without first giving him chance to prove that. He asked a lot of questions. Where did we go wrong? How did we not go it? This is the time for us, for us now to now say what had gone wrong. Okay, this area, that area, this area, that area. And you give room, you give time to see what will be done. But in the place of prayer, you are praying and praying. Nothing, nothing that God cannot do. We didn't ask him to say all that he is saying. But he has brought an olive branch to say, I want this thing to work. How can it work? We are not to reply, but not with destruction. Bashir of Sudan, for 30 years, the natural people were looking for him. They want to try him in the criminal court of justice. That he's unfair to his people. This is that. The people didn't answer them. They went about their business. Nothing, nothing, nothing consigned them, consigned him. He was just doing. But when there was no food now, the people now came out. We all know that is history. People died, all that died. Today he's no more. But we are saying that we don't need to, we don't need people to die. We don't need to destroy property. We don't need to. We have come a long way. We are civilized people. Let us pray. And somebody will say, what is the use of prayer? We've given you examples. The Jews were to be exterminated. Esther called for three days prayer. And they fasted and they prayed and the tide was, was turned. So many stories like that. I've given you Bible. I've given you practical. Now, let's look at one. How powerful is the issue of praise, worship, of prayer? Second Chronicles 20 is a reading assignment for every one of us who will not be able to take it all. I read from one. It said, it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab among three powerful kings. In our own case, we have powerful issues afflicting us. As a nation, it's a truth, it's a statement of fact. Verse 2, it said, these three nations came. Multitude came against Israel. All these factors now are working against us as a nation. What do we do? Should we give it room? Should we allow it to tear us? Or should we find a way out of it? Joseph had feared. But what did he do? He seek the Lord. We are to seek God. He proclaimed a fast. We are to continue not to be tired. We must continue to walk and never be tired. Continue to pray. And never be tired. God can do all things. You see, we are behaving like the apostles who prayed. Peter was to be beheaded. And they were praying. And the angel went and released Peter in the night. And Rhoda came. When Peter came to where they were praying, the Acts of Apostles said, Ah, Peter is outside. Oh, he said, I better go and sleep. It can never happen. How can it be? It cannot happen. It cannot work. It cannot this. He's outside though, he cannot walk. You see, they were praying, but they didn't believe in their prayers. Let's believe that it is God walking. Let's have faith in God. The song we gave earlier on, hymn number 642, Secret Songs and Solos. See, when we walk with the Lord. We, when we trust God, we believe Him and we walk with Him. You see, we can never imagine what God will do for us. But now we are walking in unbelief. Unbelief when we think that protest is what can do it for us. No. We are now trying to fight our battles by ourselves. No. Let's not go that way. 
it's okay if we have a government that wants to listen, but they, they, okay, now, the soldiers are coming out, they are coming out with Koko, that smile. So it shows that government is not yet ready to listen. So should we allow blood back? Should we allow them to have their way on? No. What you do? You retreat, go back. Let's go back. And at this point in time, we we'll appeal to government. Like our president have said, it is the people that gave the mandate. And when there is a discry, a discontent, it is good to listen so that you don't pour everything away. The baby is dirty, yes. What do you do with the baby? The baby has pooped. What do you do with the baby? Do you throw the baby away with the water? Dirty water? No. You hold on to the baby and you wash off the poopoo. You see how you can make it. So we make an appeal that let there be dialogue. Let there be dialogue. Let government listen. Let the soldiers remain in the barrack. They are to remain in the barrack, not outside. They are to fight external aggressors, not internal aggressors. No. And it's a family matter. When there's family matter, you don't use high-handedness. They say when you beat a child with one hand, you use the other hand to draw the child back. Government should please draw her children back to her. Where there has been an error in some of the crisis resulting in this, it is not to re return with another high-handedness that will destroy the nation. No. Let's seek the path of peace. Both parties should please seek the path of peace. You see, all these things came to King Jehoshaphat. And what did he do? He cried unto the Lord. Jehoshaphat went. He said, God, we have to take up the state of the nation address. That is our own letter now, our own covenant between us and the president. Take it to the Lord in prayer and say, God, look at it. Oh, look, look at it. Look at it. Help us. And God will touch his heart and help us to touch our heart that together, let's not forget the team for this year's this thing is together. Together. We are warring against an enemy, not against ourselves. And what is that enemy? It is a spirit, spirit of greed, spirit of covetousness, spirit of ethnicity, spirit of nepotism, spirit of, um, of ethnicity. We say no to them. But not against each other. No. That is not the way to go. You see. Verse 17. For you is all. Read all. Second Chronicles 20. But I'm picking it up. If we allow God to fight for us. Second Chronicles 20. 17, he said. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. He said, fear not. Let us not be afraid. God who has brought us this far, even from bigger issues, we st is still able to do. He's still able to answer. He's still able to turn things around. He's still able to remedy the situation. He said, fear not. Don't be dismayed. God is saying he is rising up to answer us. And what should be our response? We are to bow our head to the Lord and say, God, let your will be done. Don't forget. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what do we do? Trust and obey. Let's trust him and let us obey God. And what did God say we should do? We should pray for our government. We should walk in obedience. But at the same time, Let's voice that which is worrying us. That which is our pain. That which is our anger. But in a civilized manner, not in demolition of properties and lives. You see? 21. And when he had consulted with the people, this is King Jehoshaphat now. After all this, he consulted with the people. So government should consult with the people. So much have been said about what they need. By this time, I believe if government have said, okay, we are setting up a high-powered committee to look into this, to look into that, the protest would have been, it would have been non-existent because it would have been, what is your reason for going out now? You have tabled your request and government is looking into it. So, but this thing is on because it's like uh, nothing is being done. 
You see, verse 21 here is Bible we are reading, you know. You see, 21. And when he had consulted with his people, the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord. Joseph had consulted with the people. Government was consulted with the people. Democracy is government for the people, with the people, and for the people. It's for the people. And that's why the president started by saying, Oh, I acknowledge that you gave me the mandate and I'm willing to serve. So please, let's look at where we are going, making, getting it wrong and let us go back. Let us go back. You see, and he appointed singers and began to praise, began to praise. And when he began to praise, the people began to praise. God went ahead of them, praising God. And what were they saying? For his mercy endureth forever. This is what we should be saying. And that God's mercy has been enduring for us, has been keeping us, has been helping us. And that mercy is still available. But like we have said, should sin continue that grace and mercy should abound? The answer is no, but not in this way that we want to go to. And when they began to sing, God said, abutment. The studio lines to call 070 50 86 39 39. 070 50 86 39 39. 090-96-299-777 Please let's give peace a chance in our country. We don't have another one. We don't have another place to go to. We don't have anywhere to run to. The path we are going is not a good path. It's good we have a right to protest. But it is a path that is being hijacked. By evil forces. So let's leave it alone. Let's go back to our homes and cry to the Lord. He will hear us. Hello, good afternoon. Church on the air. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you hearing me? I can hear you, sir. I can hear you, sir. I want to thank you for this program. This is Benjamin. Hello, it's my name. From Bari. You're welcome. You're welcome. My program and it's a good one. I think I love the way you really just and I like it now. Thank you, sir. Hello? Thank you, sir. I can hear you, sir. Thank you. There's something in that. First of all, let's talk to the government. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. We have been suffering, not today. Yes, sir. We passed through pains, not today. Yes, sir. Why don't they look into us and say that this is what they have to do now. Yes, sir. They will give empty promises they will not stick to it. It is changing. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. They will say they will lift him, they will do something, but they will not do anything because they don't have the fear of God. And anyone that has the fear of God do things according to the will of God. Yes, sir. This country, Nigeria, the leaders we have now, they should check themselves very well. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Because they have done what they want to do, now they want problem to come inside for the country to be destabilized, which is not supposed to be so. Yeah, that is why we must not allow it, sir. Yes, sir. Because of that, remember one thing, yes, we sir. are not the same. Yes, sir. Individual differences. Yes, sir. The mind does not read the same. Do you know this? Yes, sir. If I understand, you understand what of the rest people do. They understand the way I understand, the way you understand. Yes, sir. Do they have the fear of God? Yes, sir. You just said it. There are some of them who are outside there to loot and to destroy. And that is it. Yes, sir. A lot of you have died in this process. Yes, sir. Hello? I can hear you, sir. A lot of you have died in this process. It must not continue. We are saying it should not yes, continue. Sir. Yes, sir. The only thing we are seeking for is that let the government do that thing in time. This is what we the request for. This is what they are requesting this thing on behalf of everyone in this country. Yes, sir. On behalf of everyone in this country. If you say, okay, this is what you want us to do, do it. Let it be. Let it be excellent. I am telling you, the country will come to 100%. Yes, sir. What, do we, what are we looking for in this country? What are we looking for? We have every mineral resource. We have everything. But they only depend on who? They depend on fuel alone. We forgot about the agriculture we are battling for. The agriculture was the success of this country before. 
Hello? Yes, sir. Can you hear you, sir? Where is the cocoa and coffee? We throw it aside. Because why? Everybody is putting head on crude oil. It is not supposed to be like this. Yes, sir. No job, nothing, nothing. Everybody, we a lot of youth are suffering. And why would they not go into violence? This is what we are saying. No, violence is not the way. This is what we are saying. Yes, sir. Because of this, this is why many of them are going into violence. Because many of them are there, no things queer me. Mm. Why don't we, we say we are, we are, we are giant of Africa. Do you know what we say? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. We are giant of Africa, but we cannot do what Libya do when Gaddafi was there. We cannot. Yes, sir. We cannot. He did everything for everybody. Yes, sir. But now, I thank God you said it. They are crying now, because why? They find out that when this little love Gaddafi to death, now all of them are crying in Libya. Eh, now the people, we are the people now. We don't want the same thing. Eh, the people country, should have right? said, no, we don't want this. Thank but you see, they Thank joined you. to do rebellion, they joined to do protest. Thank you. Not knowing Thank that you. those, those NATO people, they don't have their interests at heart. They only want Thank their you. oil. So we must Thank not go you. that way. We must be sensitive to know when the enemy is knocking. This one night is the enemy not. that is knocking. This protest now is enemy. Let us not go that way at all at all. We knew, ma. Mm -hmm. But I want to let you know, yes, sir. at the same time, the same people who are on the siege should fear God. Sir, fear, you, you, it is not you that can, you see, <laughs> thank you very much. Let me allow you to finish your presentation, then I'll talk to you. Go on, okay, have you finished? You. Yes. So are you hearing me now? Yes, yes, I'm we hearing you. fear God, when we have the fear of God, is to with everything in this country will be 100%. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sir, yes, please, sir. I just, Please beg them for us. You understand? Now? Because <laughs> next thing they are going to do now is to pull out the soldiers. No, no. It, the it. soldiers are already out. They've already announced that. They, they've announced Operation Crocodile Smile. So we are and now we saying that we... please let everybody withdraw. Go back to your homes, please. And allow God. It is God we have been calling. Let us continue to allow God, please. Thank you very much for calling. We appreciate your call. Thank, Thank you, you very God much. You. Thank you very Thank much. You. We appreciate Thank you. God. Please, the fear of God we are talking about, it is not us that can put fear in anybody. It is only God. That's why we used to say, when you want to marry, don't say, I, I, you look at this person, when I marry him, I will change him. I will change that. You can't change anybody. We don't have, we don't have the means to change anybody. Only God. So in this case now, it's only God that can touch their heart. The hearts of kings is in God's hand. And it is God that can turn it. So, you want to go and, Face machine gun, face AK-47, face this with cutlass and stick. How can it work? It will not work. So let's not go that way at all at all. It is the devil. If the Libyans knew that it would be like this, they will not cooperate with the foreign people that say be protesting, be protesting. They just rather stay there and won't be enjoying themselves. Say no, this is not come near us. But Tunisia did it, Egypt did it, they joined. And the rest now is history. If you ask them, on, on TV, they used to show them, some of them that are in Lebanon, and this. They say, in Syria, all these refugees, <laughs> one looked at her, her small, is it a two bedroom she rented? Two bedrooms. She say, where she's coming from? The whole apartment, the whole two bedroom, kitchen, toilet, this, that, 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 is her kitchen. Her kitchen, where she's coming from? Her kitchen. To show you how big the apartment is and how nice their country is. But all these protests, protests scattered everything. Let's not go that way. Yes, there's no food, there's no this, there's no that. But the more you eat, the more I eat. If we continue to take it crying upon God, the point, problem is that we are not praying hard enough. We are just talking, talking, we are not sincere. That's why last week we came with that topic. Humility. If my people who are called by my name, Second Chronicles seven fourteen, if they will humble themselves, fast and pray. We are fasting and pray, but we are not humbling ourselves for God to hear us. And what is that humility? We defined it. Say, if we humble ourselves, then we repent of our own ways. We ourselves, we have plenty, plenty tukutuku things inside us, the citizens. When we now cleanse ourselves. We call upon God and we go back. How many of us and how many are they? God will hear, but this protest is not the way. Hello, good afternoon. Church on the air. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Afternoon, sir. This is Joseph Oda from uh, 
Joseph. Okay, Joseph, you are welcome, sir. Um, madam. Yes, sir. I had the program is very nice. I'm glad. Yes, sir. The, are you hearing me? I can hear you very well. Okay. Loud and clear. The, pro, uh, the, the, your program is very nice. Yes, sir. I have seen the education of the youth. Yes, sir. They've done so well, so perfect. Yes, sir. The reality is, after the, uh, the matter of government, is a government that we have known them for many years, they will listen to you, they will pretend as if they are going to answer as when you now go back. They will now get some of the important people that actually agitate for this uh, thing and drive. And the country will worse, be worse than what happened before. You understand me? I do, I do. So, uh, if they said they want to bring a machine gun to attack NG because of this protest that are doing, I, I, I'm just giving you a tip that this same machine gun is found in this youth. Forget about the just come out of class. This same machine gun is found with other youth down south. I'm from the south. Do I'm saying like a bigger here? So that I is what the kind of, I know mm-hmm. the kind of recruitment people no, no, have made no. because of this, no, this no. government is just the problem. No, 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 no. No, let there be no bloodshed. No, please, no. Uh, then, then let's not scatter not this country. Have, no. Let the, uh, 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 mommy, please. Yeah, yes, and I, I really understand you've been preaching in this session. I so much like your preaching. Yes, sir. But I just want to tell you. Yes, sir. Hmm? I'm a Christian. I fear God. Yes, sir. I, want, I just want to tell you, if there's any avenue you have to advise the government not to bring out any crocodile this, so that it will not split the government. Because if that thing happens, if only one... Thank you very much for calling. Please, the simple answer is let us all withdraw and allow God. Please, don't let's not allow this part of confrontation. It is not good for you. It is not good for me. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And it's not good for our children yet unborn. The first person made a statement. He said, "Ah, all these things, if we allow it now, then everything will just be as the enemy had planned it. If you already know that, then why do you want to give the enemy a chance? Let's not go that way. I will not overflow this issue. I'm stopping here. A word is enough for the wise. But know that scattering the nation. I'll give you an example of Libya. Last week I gave you an example of Syria. Everywhere battered. Assad of Syria was to listen. He said, no, his people, his, his family have been ruling for 90 something years. It won't be in his turn. Your family ruling and they have legacy. They can say, oh, Assad family built hospital. Assad family built this. Which is better and now nothing. Yemen is scattered. We can go on and on. Let us not add ourselves to that list. It is not necessary. America was able to make it because Martin Luther King came out with the concept of non-confrontation, non-violence. And that was how they were able to get their at, at, at independence and able to make it. All these black movements they are doing now, if they remember where they are coming from, they will know that the path was not in scattering, in destroying, in looting. No. It was in seeking redress in a gentle way. Mahatma Gandhi of India was able to liberate India through a non-passive struggle. No violence. No violence. And the people couldn't understand which kind of people is this. They didn't carry stone. They didn't carry cutlass. They didn't carry... Just quiet. They gave them their freedom. It has worked. How can we now say that it will not work in our country? It must work. It is what has been working. This is a gentle reminder that it is prayer, God helping us that has brought us this far. Let us not now think that by our strength we can make it. By our might we can make it. By our this we can make it. No. No. You see, when we defined warfare, a lot of statements came to it. But the opposite of warfare, if you check your dictionary, it's just two words. Harmony and peace. Just two letter word. Harmony and peace. If we withdraw back to our homes, we are praying, we are calling upon God, believing God, and then asking God to touch government, let them be sincere and come out and do a dialogue, the way forward. Then the end result will be harmony and peace. Nigeria together. Let's remember Psalm 133. It say, 
behold how pleasant and good it is for brethren to dwell together in unity it is in unity that they answer the peace the progress we so seek that is where it is i'll just give you some verse of scriptures and then pastor magdalene is in the house god's power is greater this part of bloodshed is the devil own you don't confront darkness with darkness no darkness and darkness do not go together. Luke ten seventeen, he said, The devils are subject unto us through thy name. When you call upon God, he will give us victory. Light we come into our country. Light will shine in our country in the name of Jesus Christ. Luke ten nineteen. Jesus here says, He said, I give unto you power, power over all the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. The power does not come from going to the street. It does not come from vandalism. No. It comes from the place of prayer, the place of obedience. Then God will look at it and say, ah, ah, you five against twenty hundred. No, it cannot work. No. Don't forget the children of Israel. They were not even praying. They were in captivity for 400 years. The Bible says they groaned. They were groaning. The pain was too much. And when God came to answer, you see how he demonstrated his might with, with Pharaoh. With Pharaoh, you saw how, what he did, how he was able to do it. Is it not the same Bible we are talking about? The same God is still available. Let's not belittle God. So I give unto you, Papa is in your mouth. In your mouth, pray, yeah, pray in your room, pray in your house, pray in your various churches. Pray in your various mocks. Pray in your various whatever you have. Pray there. Don't come outside. Let's not scatter this country. No, don't go that way. Philippians 2, 9 to 11. It says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. When you call Jesus, every knee will bow. Who is that power? Who is that force? Who, is, who are those principalities? All these forces we are fighting against. They cannot withstand the power of our God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Then we that say we are light. In that office, in that place, show that you are the light. Light will definitely overcome darkness. In the name of Jesus. James 2.19. James 2.19. Thou believest that there is one God. He said the devil also believe and tremble. The difference is in the way you now hold on to your Jesus. The way you present him. Not in strife. First John 4.4. 4. When we pray, there is power in our prayer. Uh-uh. The event of the strong man who is the only one the cap feet. Is enough to show that there is power in prayer. In the privacy of his home, do you know the road to that home? If you say you want to go there, there are underground bunkers and this, can you touch him? Can you reach him? Can your bomb, somebody that say they have this, what are you talking about? Do you know the way there? Can you fight it? But your prayer, prayer can go anywhere, can go anywhere, touch the heart of men, do anything. Let's not lose this sight of prayer, praise, holding on to God. No. This part is not the part. It's not the way. Let's not go there. It's a way of scatterization that do nobody no good. For greater I see, first John 4, 4. Greater I see that is in you than he that is in the world. When we do that, John 10, 18. Ah, then we see Satan falling as lightning. From our nation, Satan will fall. All these forces will fall. All these blood sucking demons must give way. No more bloodshed. Jesus already shed his blood on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. And they said, it is finished. We don't want any of our children to die again. No. Our husbands to die. No. Women to die. No. No. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of all the problems. Then put it in whatever is a prayer. Say enough is enough. Which one is paining you? Say enough is enough. Enough is enough. enough, is enough. enough. Man, the only way they pay me, be say me, I don't want to work at all at all. Because if one no day, I feel go my market, I feel do my this, I feel do my prayer, I feel do my this. But when one day, you get five children, which one you want carry, which one you want leave? If one day, which market you want go? If one day, which property you want talk about? We could no go that side at all, at all, at all. No be better road to go. We could leave my alone. You see? You see, Satan will fall. Colossians 2.15. Colossians 2.15. When we withdraw back to our homes. Let's leave this demonstration. We have told government what we want. Leave it alone and give them chance to look into it. 
He said, Colossians 2 15 said, God will not spoil principalities and powers. These strongholds facing our country, they must come down. No. Our founding fathers did not shed their blood for this. No. It must give way. Triumphing over them. Nigeria will be a better country for our children. In the name of Jesus. Pastor Magdalene. I can go on and on and on. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday to you all. You are all welcome to the church on the air. We bless the name of the Almighty God for His sustaining grace and His mercy towards each and every one of us. As our mommy has said, protest is not the way. Warfare is not the way. Let's turn the protest to fellowship with God. The Bible tells us that with God, all things are possible. You do your own part. Let me do my own part. Let our leaders, the Bible says we should also pray for our leaders. Let our leaders do their own part. Let's focus attention on God. Whatever is our challenge, let's bring it to God in fellowship. Our God knows how to handle all situation. The Bible tells us that the heart of a king is in the hand of the Almighty God. It is not by power that we can prevail. It's not by our own might. The Almighty God is aware of the uh, 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 existence of our leaders. It's God that have ordained leadership. And then, if the leadership, uh, leadership system is becoming unbearable to his people, when the people call on the name of the Almighty God, the one that created heaven and earth, he knows what to do. Please, let's turn the protest to fellowship. Let's turn the warfare to fellowship. The Bible tells us in the book of uh, Acts of the Apostle, chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. He said, And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers. In fellowship, what do we do? We sing praise to the Almighty God. We pray to Him and we study His word. God is not the author of confusion and God is not a, is not the author of destruction. God, he, 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 that is why he sent Jesus Christ to come and save the world. To come and save us, to come and redeem us from the cause of the Lord. To come and redeem us from the power of destruction. And that is why he's calling each and every one of us to fellowship. According to uh, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, if my people, have you been, have you been to Jesus? Have you been called? By the name of God. God is saying, if my people who are called by my name should humble themselves and pray and seek and seek my face and forsake their evil ways, he said then he will hear from heaven. If we fulfill our condition, God knows what to do. We are not the one to say, okay, our father, this one, this area is pinching me. Do something about it. When our own obedience is complete, the almighty God, we, uh, uh, we, we show forth. He will show his power. He has done it before. He will still do it again. Our uh, signature to me said, there is nothing, absolutely nothing. There is no power in heaven and on earth that the almighty God cannot handle. There is nothing that is too hard for God to do. So let us go back to our fellowship. Over there, the presence of the almighty God is there. Fellowship simply means uh, uh, a place of meeting, a place or point of meeting between God and us or we or you. So let's create, let's give, let, let, let's give God a fellowship. Let's invite the presence of the Almighty God into our fellowship and then make our request know to Him. He's the Almighty God that controls the universe. He said, May heaven and earth in the book of Genesis 1, verse 1. He said in the beginning that God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the surface of the earth. And then what now happened? And God said, let there be light. In other words, we are experiencing unrest. We are experiencing a, 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 a form of a disaster, destruction of life and property here on earth in our nation. And God, and God is waiting for me and you that say we are called by his name to act positively, to turn every form of a disunity into unity, to turn every, every form of disagreement to agreement. So protest is not the way forward. Fellowship. Fellowship with God 
is the way forward. God is inviting me and you into his uh, fellowship. Let us respond positively and it is my prayer that our lives will never be the same again. Our nation will not be ruined in the name of Jesus Christ. God is interested in our oneness. He's, he's interested in our, in our unity. He's interested for us to come together and pray as he has said, if my people. So let's make it a point of duty to be uh, uh, among the people of God. When the people of God pray, God answer. Our O is to pray and God's O is to answer. Make it as a point of duty to commit yourself into the hands of the Almighty God. Commit the nation, commit the leaders into the hands of the Almighty God. God Almighty will surely answer us as we pray together in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you out there and you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. You pray that prayer, you are born again. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. Find a Bible believing church and attend. And your life can never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in our country. We thank you for the Jordan family wherever they are. As a point of contact to every Nigerian, your people all over the world, bless them. Keep, prosper. Let it be well with us all. In the name of Jesus. Mm. We pray for our nation, Nigeria. We pray your, he- pray for your healing. Let your healing take place. Show government the way forward. Show them how to be sincere, to do that which is right. In the name of Jesus. Let the soldiers remain where they are. And let the citizens go back to their homes. In the name of Jesus. We speak your peace to the north, the south, the east and the west. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This continence of favor and of mercy never leave us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening in. Please keep the peace. God bless you. Amen.